So you stayed, got back to Nova Scotia and then you made it eventually to Toronto. When did that happen? Yeah, well, you know what? That took a little bit because I went back to Nova Scotia in 1972 mm -hmm. and it was in 2002 or 2001 mm -hmm. that came here. In all that time mm -hmm. from there, that's when I put to work everything that I had learned up to that time. Mm -hmm. That's when I did my work. Mm -hmm. That's when I experienced the highest highs and the lowest lows. And most of it was about really concentrating on the next generation. Mm -hmm. This became everything. This became everything. In what way? That having isolated and identified so many areas that were going to be of such, such a problem that I had to concentrate on alleviating that problem or the possibilities of it as much as I possibly could. And uh, it was good to have that focus, uh, that reason, that purpose, because um, it made me sharpen and hone and sharpen and sharpen what I was using as my platform, what I was using as my lesson plan, uh, which was my creative essence. Mm -hmm. So the, 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 the greater I honed it, the more effective I was going to be in bringing about those changes or helping to bring about those changes that were going to facilitate the lives of these generations that I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. It, 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 you know, it is my reason for being. It, it, it just is. Mm -hmm. 